In this video we are going to talk about pipe styles and structure styles. Now what are pipe and structure styles? Well they basically govern the way your items objects look. Any style, any object within Civil 3D is going to have a style associated with it and you're going to have to edit those settings to make the object look the way you want. So if we look at my screen here, I've got three utility styles here. I got water, which is blue, storm, which is green, along with a storm manhole, and sanitary pipes, along with a sanitary manhole in orange. I'll scroll to the left a little bit. These labels are also styles, and we have to build styles to govern the way they look. A little bit farther to the left, we have catch basin styles, which is basically a block on top of your object. And we have a fire hydrant style, which again is another block on top of your object. Same with the manholes, they are blocks on top of your object. So if I select it, it's a dynamic 3D object. So how, where do we access these styles? You're probably going to land in Prospector tab under regular old tool space where you design things. We need to go into the settings tab where all the styles for Civil 3D are stored. So under our subdivision design, we're going to scroll down, pipes, and pipe styles. I have a sanitary, a storm, a water in here already. And I'm just going to create a new one to show you guys the how to set it up. So we're going to click new. And like all Civil 3D items, name it what you're designing. I'm going to name this sanitary 2 due to the fact I already have a sanitary. First tab I'm going to go into is the plan view. Now we can leave all these settings default. Uh, feel free to play around with them and see what they do. We're going to go, to go into the profile tab and leave these settings again as default. The section tab we're not going to play around with. The tab we really need to concentrate in is the display tab. So this tells Civil 3D how your objects will look. If I leave everything default, they're going to come out all white. It's set to by layer, the layer is zero. We don't want that to happen. So on the drop down, there's plan view, model, profile, and section. We're going to start with editing the plan view. Now, what is our plan view? Well, if we look within Civil 3D, the top down view, this is our plan view. So we have different display options for plan and profile, and we need to edit those both. So we're going to select everything, and first of all, we're going to put it on a proper layer. So we want the parent layer for this style to be on C-Util. So the utility layer is going to control it, even though our objects are going to be on a C-Utility-Sanitary layer. We're also going to change the color to 30. I'll show you the colors for storm and water here after we're done with this one. But sanitary, use color 30. We are going to turn off the inside pipe walls. We don't need to see those as on a plan view you have two lines very close together. They pretty much appear solid. So we're going to leave on outside pipe walls and pipe end lined. We're not going to hatch it and we're not going to put a solid in it which is basically another hatch. We're going to change the drop down to model. So this is your 3D orbit, 3D object viewer. Again, I'm just going to set these up to C-Util and color 30. We're going to drop down to our profile tab. Now, what is the profile tab? So I'll momentarily click OK and go to model space to show you the profile tab. So let me turn my two images off so they're easier to see. This will basically be your profile. It's almost like slicing a cake. It shows you the layers and what's underneath the ground. So up here we have our existing ground or our ground design. Here's more manhole styles. Here's our pipe styles. So this is your profile view. It slices it like a cake. So I'm going to right click on my style and edit it again to change the display in our profile tab. So first of all, I'm going to select everything, change the layer to C-Util. I'm going to change the color to color 30, which is orange. And the only two items I want turned on, again, are the outside pipe walls and the pipe end line. We can check under the summary tab 
the summary tab in styles basically has everything that's in these initial boxes just put in more of a a list type and again if you want to change it we can go ahead and change it so we're going to click ok and the way i have my sanitary style set up in profile this is the way they display so we don't have any inside walls we're only showing outside pipe walls and our manhole style is showing the, the manhole as a solid hatch and then we've added in a little incoming pipe black circle so it shows us where the incoming pipes are and just a quick back to plan view to show you the plan view style one last time here's our sanitary plan view style so those, that's uh, how to build a pipe style let's quickly take a look at the storm where I click edit under the display tab and again set these to c-util and storm will do color 90 one additional thing I've added in the profile for storm is our inside pipe walls that is because a fair number of them are going to be concrete and concrete pipe is quite a bit thicker so we're going to click OK and water again proper layers put this on c-util water I've done color 170 so those will print orange green and blue respectively on to a quick structure styles so if you look just below pipes there's structures so I'll click the plus we'll expand structure styles and as you see here I have a structure style for my catch basin I have a structure style for my fire hydrant the null one which is the civil 3d default this little circle here is the null structure and if we object viewer it it's just the sphere connected to the three pipes so it's easier to change the inverts a sanitary manhole style and we have a store manhole style so to carry on with the sanitary I'm going to right click on sanitary and edit now these will probably be in your drawing already but let's just run through it quickly under the model tab I'm just going to use the pipe catalog to find 3d part So that's your 3D object viewer view. Under the plan tab, so this is how it looks on the down view. So I'm, it's a user defined part. I'm basing it off a block called sanitary manhole. Now this is the display of my block. I'm using the fixed scale from the part size at one, one, one. So I believe my block is two millimeters in diameter. So we're just gonna use that scale in all our drawings. The profile view, I'm displaying it as a boundary. Not as a solid, as a boundary. We're going to add the hatch in later. Again, section we're not worrying about. And then again to the display tab. So I haven't set my layers up properly in this, but set all these to C-Util. Yes, it takes a bit of time, but it's going to save you headaches later. So plan view, I'm only showing the structure. I'm not showing any hatch or a 3D solid. Model, just set it to color 30. Your profile view, so I'm showing my structure, my structure hatch, and my structure pipe outlines. So if you remember those little red circles, they will print black. That is your structure pipe outline. So that is the incoming pipes into your manhole. And again, section we don't use. One last thing to note on the profile is I've done a solid structure hatch. So it prints one solid color. So I'm going to click OK. I've changed a few things. And I'm going to show you the fire hydrant style since it's slightly different. So we'll click edit, being that this is on a water network. So model, catalog to find 3D part. Plan view, user defined part, this one's set to the fire hydrant, and I've set it for a fixed scale, this one, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Again, this could be probably set to the drawing scale, or even the same one it was before. The profile tab, boundary, under the display tab, 
So I didn't set up the display of any of these since it's being drawn as a block. So it's taking your properties from your block. So I'll click OK and I'll quickly show you the fire hydrant again. So if we zoom in on the fire hydrant, this is the block. This is the way the block looks. So the block kind of overwrites the way the style is set up to make the fire hydrant look. Now let's take a quick look at pipe label styles. So these labels are physically attached to the pipe and I can only slide them along the length of the pipe or I can leader them away. So they're, they're permanently attached to the pipe and they display exactly what's in the pipe or what the pipe is, the slope, the material, the size. I have it showing water network, the length, etc. So where do we access those? Again, it's in your settings tab. We're gonna go under pipe. This time we don't need pipe styles. We need to go under the label styles tab. So double click label styles. We're gonna be editing plan profile labels. This is the, the top down view and the side view. And as you notice here, I have pipe label plan sanitary, pipe label profile sanitary. So I have a sanitary label for both views. So quickly how to make a label style, we're gonna right click and go new. Name the label style what it is. Pipe, label, and to show you how to build it, I'm gonna go showing northings and Eastings. Under the general tab, this is where you set up your text style. Do we want to show the label? Yes. And the layer of the label is going to be the parent of the label. So C dash label dash util or C dash label dash pipe. There we go. So that's going to be the parent layer. It's going to control the label. Orientation reference, we want it attached to the object. So attach it to the pipe. And the only other thing on here to worth mention is plan readability. So this is a civil 3D item that when your label gets to a certain degree, it flips it around so you can view it from either the bottom end of the page or the right end of the page. So you're not reading across where it's stapled. Under the layout tab is where we create all the items within the style, all the text pieces. So our component name is going to be pipe text and we only have one component name. We're going to anchor it along the center line. The contents is where we fill out what we want it to say, but we're going to change a few things first. So text height, two and a half mil is pretty standard. Rotation, we don't want to rotate it at all. Attachment, we're going to attach it to the middle center. So the middle center of the label is going to be on the middle center of the pipe. And we're not going to have any offsets, so we're just going to set those to zero. And one, one last thing, background mask, true. So background mask, what it does is it hides everything behind the label. So as you see, the pipe comes here, stops, but it's, it is running underneath the label and it continues out the back. So we've masked out what's behind it. So I'm going to set the background mask to true and I'm just going to set it to point one. So now into the contents. So this is the label style composer. This is where we can pull all sorts of information off of our physical pipe and add it into a label. So if we click the drop down, we can have everything from invert calculations, wall thicknesses, pipe diameters, stations, slopes, uh, 2D lengths, start pipe name, end pipe name. So a whole wealth of information that we can pull. So as I named this label style, Northings and Eastings, pipe label showing Northings and Eastings, we're gonna scroll down until we find the Northings and Eastings, not the radius point. We need pipe end Northing and pipe end Easting. So we're gonna start with the start, pipe start Northing. And up comes this little box. So first of all, I'm going to type an N for Northing. We're going to change a few of the settings. So as soon as you select the uh, property, it's going to drop down here with a list of items you can change. So my 
nor thing I'm gonna switch it to two decimal places. I want it meters round normal. And then I'm gonna click the over key. So you have to click the over arrow to force the expression into your editor window over here. So my easting now, I'm going to add that next. Pipe start northing, we're going to add pipe start easting. Switch it to two decimal places, click over. So again, it's going to help to name them start northing, start easting, and then end northing, end easting. So I'm going to go ahead and add the pipe end northing. Again, switch it to two decimal places. Force it over. Pipe end easting. Two decimal places. And we'll force it over. So this is reading information that's attached to your pipe. And I'll show you that here in one second. And it's building it into a label for us. So we're going to click OK. The display doesn't show up in here. But we built that label style. So I'll click OK. And to show you what it looks like, I'm going to select my one label. And to quickly change it, go into my Properties tab, Pipe Label Showing Northings and Eastings. So if we drag it away, the text displays a little bit bigger. Again, that's all in the label style, so to show you how to change that, we're going to select it, right click, Edit Label Style. Drop down arrow, Edit Current Selection. And the one tab we didn't go into is under drag state. So drag state is when you pull a label away from its origin, origin point. So these labels are attached to the pipe. This label is still attached to the pipe, but we've drug it away. So we have to match the settings from previous. So we're going to go two and a half, two and a half. Background mask, true. We'll do 0.1 and we'll leave the rest default. So I'm gonna hit OK, OK, and as you saw, the label has adjusted. So now where is Civil 3D getting these items from? So if I select the pipe it's attached to and quickly go into pipe properties, under your part properties, there is a pipe start easting, pipe start northing. So these are physical items that Civil 3D has attached to the pipe that we can pull information off of. So everything in that label style composer window is located in here and we can pull the items off of it. That is structure styles, pipe styles, and pipe label styles.